the LTV Ventilator Series Operator's Manual. To best meet your needs, this videotape is divided into segments. Initially, it is best to watch the entire video in order. After that, you may want to fast forward or rewind to review specific segments. Omanetic Systems Incorporated is pleased to present the LTV series ventilators. LTV stands for Laptop Ventilator. The LTV is small and lightweight, like a laptop computer. The LTV has all the capabilities of many larger ventilators and more. It only weighs about 12 pounds but packs a world of innovative features into its small size. If you have any questions, please contact your local Pulmonetic Systems sales representative or feel free to call the Pulmonetic Systems World Headquarters based in Colton, California. The toll-free number is 800-754-1914. Hello, I'm Angela King, Clinical Director for Pulmonetic Systems. Welcome to our video training program for the LTV series ventilators. The Pulmonetic Systems laptop ventilator offers both volume and pressure ventilation. There are three models of the LTV, the 1000, the 950, and the 900. The LTV 1000 offers an oxygen blender and pressure control ventilation. The LTV 950 does not have an oxygen blender, but does offer pressure control. The LTV 900 does not offer either an oxygen blender or pressure control. In general, the LTV 900 and 950 are used for home care, while the LTV 1000 is used for other health care settings. Let's take a little tour and look at the features of the LTV 1000. The rear panel provides a compartment where the internal battery is housed. You can also see the mounting bracket. This bracket slides into the corresponding bracket on either the table stand or the pole stand. You can also purchase just the dovetail bracket if you'd like to mount the ventilator on a wall or on the back of a wheelchair. On top, there are two eyelets for attaching either the hand strap or the shoulder strap. On the left side of the ventilator is the inlet filter. It is important not to block this filter because this is where the ventilator draws in room air. Above the inlet filter is the oxygen port. Next we find the communication port. This port allows downloading of information. The middle port is for attaching a patient assist call system. The top port is for connecting the power source, either electrical power, external battery power, or an auto lighter adapter to power the LTV while in a car. Note that the knurled portion of the power cord must be depressed when connecting or disconnecting the power cord from the ventilator. Above the ports is the cooling fan. It is important not to block the fan since it is where the ventilator draws in room air. On the right side of the ventilator, we find the opening for the audible alarm. It is important not to block this opening since the alarm volume would be reduced. Next, you can see three small ports. These are for connecting the exhalation drive line and the two flow transducer sense lines. The exhalation drive line is connected to the bottom port. The two transducer sense lines are non-interchangeable lure fittings. Note that it is important to orient the sense lines up while the ventilator is operating. Keeping the sense lines up will help keep them free from fluid and debris. For the first minute that the LTV is turned on, a bolus of air is sent through the sense lines with each breath. After the first minute of operation, a bolus of air is sent through the sense lines once per minute. 
To complete attachment of the patient circuit, connect the end of the circuit to the 22 millimeter outlet port. The LTV is flow triggered with a backup pressure trigger at minus three centimeters of water pressure. The ventilator will trigger a breath when the flow passing through the flow sensor exceeds the sensitivity setting. The LTV can deliver PEEP from zero to 20 centimeters of water pressure and uses a locking external PEEP valve. To adjust the PEEP, you must press the lock mechanism in while rotating the PEEP valve. Turning the valve clockwise increases PEEP, counterclockwise decreases PEEP. The approximate PEEP level is indicated by small numbers on the PEEP valve and can also be observed on the monitor data screen. Pulmonetic Systems offers a wide variety of disposable and reusable patient circuits and circuit components. A ventilator checkout should be performed to verify that the ventilator is working properly before using it on a patient. You must disconnect the patient from the ventilator and power the LTV down prior to performing a ventilator check. The ventilator does not deliver gas during the ventilator checkout. The ventilator checkout menu is set up as follows. Alarm, display, control, leak, and exit. In order to access the ventilator checkout menu, press and hold the select button and then press the on standby button. Keep holding the select button until the post test complete. Post stands for power on self test. Immediately after the post test, the remove patient message is displayed. This is just to remind you that the patient should not be connected to the ventilator during this test. Press the silence reset button to clear the remove patient warning. Press the select button to start the ventilator checkout test. The first test, alarm, is now displayed. The alarm test verifies that the alarm is working properly. Press the select button while alarm is displayed. You should hear the audible alarm. To end the alarm test, press the select button again. Display is now shown in the display window. The display test is used to verify that the ventilator displays are all working properly. To run this test, press the select button while display is shown. All LEDs and displays, with the exception of vent in-op, are now illuminated. To end the display test, press the select button again. Control is now shown in the display window. The control test is used to verify that the ventilator buttons and the set value knob are working properly. To run the control test, press the select button while control is displayed. Select is now displayed in the display window. To test each control, press the button. The name of the button is displayed in the display window. To test the set value knob, turn it clockwise and counterclockwise. To exit the control test, press the select button again. Leak is now shown in the display window. The leak test is used to test the patient circuit for leaks. The patient circuit should be tested with all accessories, such as humidifiers or water traps, in place. To run the leak test, cap or occlude the patient Y using a sterile 4x4 pad or clean gloved hand. Press the select button while leak is displayed. The display window will briefly show homing valve, then show set turbine while the circuit pressure is elevated. The pressure in centimeters of water pressure shows next, followed by the flow rate through the flow valve in liters per minute. Finally, the display will show either leak pass or leak fail. The leak test will fail if the flow through the flow valve is greater than one liter per minute. The leak test cannot be run until the ventilator has been running for 60 seconds. If you attempt to run the leak test before the warm-up period has completed, a warm-up message will be displayed. If you need to return to the top of the ventilator check menu, press the select button and exit will be displayed. 
press again, 